I ain't gonna lie, I have no fucking clue where that e where that exit is now. Yeah, I gotta leave the same goddamn way. I'm in no danger! Fucking hell. Stupid. Yeah, I'm in no danger. That's that's what. Uh, sorry, I, I I'm really not trying to come off like I'm bitching, but that that re that legitimately makes no sense though. Like I'm I'm nowhere in danger underneath a stationary hazard, but right next to an enemy, go right ahead and say. I thought I could get away with that. Right, okay, I'm not getting away with that. That I'll get away with. Can I eat that up there? Fuck right I can! Oh, wait. This should be the last one. Oh, so. But again, I just... Wow, that did not turn that 
lava beam off. Right. Let's set the L here. Right, where is my thing over there? Wait, if I go outside, am I gonna see? Am I gonna see? Um... No. Fuck off. Alright. Yeah, I hadn't been in there yet. Fuck out of here. Ow. Oh, my ass got burnt to a fucking crisp. Fucking God. Oh, this is... You know, this, this floor is lava crap is fine and all, until you start putting me in tight spaces with enemies now dealing extra damage to me. This really is no affair. I'm literally lowering the lava. Yeah, I thought I was still dead if I touched that.
I am further down my gar. God, you are fucking... the same and over there. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's... Alright, here we go. Okay, so what, how much of a dick is this going to be to get out of? I'm curious. I'm very fucking curious. Oh, shit. Damn it, go, 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 go! God damn it, we're so close.
Wait for it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Damn it. begins again. Holy crap.
And that was Ori in the Blind Forest. Backups. Oh, nice. Ah. Oh. Nice. Okay, yes, that was Ori and the Blind Forest. Um, I'm gonna bring the score up right now. My opinion on this is going to annoy some people, but I will try and be very clear and concise on where I stand with this game. I give this game, personally, I, on my scale, I would give it a pre-owned slash discount. Because here's the thing with this game. This game is absolutely gorgeous. It is living goddamn proof that you can create good games on the Unity engine. Despite the absolute trove of trash that is made on the Unity engine. Um, the gameplay, in a lot of instances, I would say probably about 75 to 80% of the instances is solid as hell. Like, the platforming is really good. It does make you think. The music is gorgeous. Absolutely sublime. And the story is honestly some of the best. Some of the best show don't tell, where the characters, like in cutscenes at least, don't speak, but just their, re just their facial expressions and their reactions and their body language tells you all you need to know. And I will damn well admit that this brought a tear to my eye. It did. That's all of the fantastic. This is where it kind of, this is where some people will pro most likely disagree. As far as a Metroidvania, Ori, in the, Ori is above average, in my opinion, as far as a Metroidvania. And, like, this game really want, it really wants you to die, and, and, hell, there's a death counter for that exact reason. There's a death counter for that exact goddamn reason, because this game will kill you. A lot. Clearly. But the problem is, is a, lo a number of deaths, not all of them, I would say at least probably a good solid 30% of my deaths. Actually, I'll be, I'll be more generous and say 25% of my deaths in this game were not caused due to a lack of skill. They were caused by what I can only describe as trial and error. Like, for example, the Wind Temple. Having to go use, ride the wind and avoid all the stuff that I didn't know was coming and then for a ceiling to collapse on me that without the ability of precognition, I would have had no idea that was going to fall on me. And there's only one way to avoid it. That, that I absolutely hate in any video games, and I, I hate the idea of, like, skill not being a factor, but, more, but, mem but repetition and memory having to constitute and substitute for difficulty. But that is like a, a small blemish on what is a really great, a, a, a really good game. I don't... I'm gonna stand. This is gonna make it sound like I'm standing apart, but like I really do think this game is very good. But I don't think it's as I don't think it's great. And from a couple of people I've talked to and like said this to, they say Ori and the World of the Wisp kind of um, goes over a couple of things that I have an issue with. Another one being in the the same Wind Temple with the gravity, like it. When you obviously go upside down, the controls are switched, where left is right and right is left, where there are plenty of other games that have done the same gravity mechanic, but have at least switched the controls to where, yes, if you're pushing right, you're going to go right. Uh, but either way, I would say if you are a Metroidvania fan, this is a good holdover. Like, it really is. And... If you just like suffering, uh, this is, uh, or if you like games that are going to kill you a lot and punish you, this is another one of them. Um, 
I just don't think it balances it as well as it could have on being a difficult Metroidvania. Yeah, but that's my opinion. I still think it's a really good game. Alright, but with all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Dante Crisis. Signing off. And I'll see you next game.